Hey Scott, how's it going? Thank you so much for choosing Agora. Thank you for picking me. And I hope this whole feedback session is really beneficial to you. I think you're doing great. I think submitting your work is so important. And mostly when we're anim animating quadrupeds for one of the first times and like a huge creature like a horse, it's it's really tricky to to go in and actually nail the body mechanics but i am really sure that if you just take all these notes and really apply them you're going to be able to later add some neck twists and just fun little elements maybe you can have the horse walking on a path and have a little more personality even added to that horse and then being able to share that reel with other studios and other companies to get hired and i would really encourage you to keep showing i like that you showed at this stage because it's like a stage where i'm able to give you nitpicky notes where you can go to them and address the notes and actually later now that once you have that walk cycle working really well then you can add all the other layers on top so i'm really glad you're doing this i hope this review is useful to you and you understand everything let me know if you have any questions and we're always always here to support you so let's jump right into it okay so here is a video of an actual horse just walking it is a little peculiar because he it has its head down and it's like a little bit tilted but what i want you to see is that the bean remains stable the bean being at that shape that i drew um, which is the whole thorax and hips of your creature. So you want them to go up and down, but it's really, really important that we don't tilt the bean because the horse would actually lose balance. If it's doing this, it wants to sit down. And if it's doing this, it wants to stretch his legs and sit down like that. So it is really important for us to keep that bean straight. You can see that even here where he has his neck so far forward and down regardless of that the bean remains pretty consistent check it out now another thing i want you to see is how the legs get fully extended you have a complete stretch right before he does that passing with the other leg it's important to know that because it will give you that extra push that you need in order for the stride to look appealing and accurate mechanically. And uh, look at the rear legs. So right now the this hoof is pointing towards the back. And then it's coming down. And then this one, once both feet are solid on the ground then this one starts going up and pushing but since this is not a run since this is just a walk cycle he actually needs to have both of his hooves on the ground before starting to lift this one there is a fun anecdote about a horse that uh, people were wondering if horses were actually lifted up in the air completely, like no legs touching the ground. And there was this guy who said, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And another one said, no, 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 they're always touching the ground because they had never analyzed horses. And then they took pictures of a horse running. And that's kind of like one of the first animations that you can see all those frames of a horse running and how it actually completely, when it's galloping, it actually completely is off the ground lifted. But not in this case because he is going slowly. So... Having said that, um, another important thing is that as he is giving this stride, if you break, if you made a line in between these two, this is a perfect angle. And, and you can see how this leg needs to be 
extended as much as possible before starting to bend and going there. Now, we're working with animation rigs, so you need to figure out the length of your legs, which is pretty tricky when you're working with quadrupeds or bipeds also. So what I would recommend is that you first have your bean really centered and nicely the the shape must not be like this or like this it must be nicely with an equilibrium between the two then you grab both legs and both legs and you make them stretch in a way in which you heat that first pose we're we're gonna make a cycle of four poses so i'm gonna show you what i mean in a second but that's how you're gonna start so i just wanted you to analyze this walk cycle real quick and then let's go into uh, Richard Williams he has the animator survival kit book and it's really 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 cool and it shows you a lot of how to animate characters animate animals how the body mechanics really are divided if you see every little aspect of a whole polished animation. So what I want you to see, this is already an animation that has been cleaned up, um, but I want you to see the differences, just mere posing. Um, I took the this video and I took yours and I matched them so that they would work with this in the same time, if that makes sense, uh, so that they would give the stride kind of at the same time and try to match the pace. Right off the bat, if you see your shapes, you can see that your bean is tilted forward. And then you can see that your neck is kind of down in regards to this drawing. But you can add that in the future if you look at enough reference. You saw how the other horse has its whole neck kind of down because you're giving it personality. But I would say first, just nail the poses of this walk cycle and then you can add personality to it which is really fun and it's really important about walk cycles so anyone can do a walk cycle but then it's about like adding personality to it and maybe changing it the the speed of that cycle or anything but i again like i said i think it's great that you're already venturing into four-legged animals it's already hard enough to do a bit so so keep going. Um, okay, so here in this frame, what I'm seeing, so the pattern of the legs is going to be consistent. The front legs and the rear legs are going to actually be doing the same, but alternating. So uh, here you have this leg that is extended and it's further forward than the leg you have here. So if you see the angle this is generating, should be like way more of a diagonal line. So you should be aiming to hit kind of here and almost touching the ground. This leg, if you look at this, it's almost staying completely in line, you see? Whereas this one, it's going further back and pushing kind of out as much as possible without breaking the leg. So you want it to be a little more pushed towards that side. And then these legs in this frame are kind of fine. I would bend this leg a little more and the hoof as well. So it's really a matter of checking these poses and analyzing the four main poses. So one thing that is really noticeable that like jump or stands out about your walk cycle is that the front legs are not completely extended ever. So it looks as if your horse is kind of like walking like this. It, it gives that impression. Of course it's not, but it gives that impression. So see what your horse is doing. So the both legs are not fully extended at the same time. See how 
it's going from a bended, bent position to an extension here. Whereas this horse reaches the extension before and then that extension is giving him the power to actually put his weight on it. Because if he was bending, he would like go fully forward and he would fall down. So it's important to, to notice that. And in the same way, it's important to notice how the rear legs are having this contact and this contact and this contact even before it starts lifting you from here you already don't have a contact here and then it's just flying and it's not really pushing so what really helps about selling an animal's weight and anything that's actually like jumping up is like really having that push and keeping that for some frames before you can um let's say push your body forward in any sort of way so for animals it's really important to see that peel off as they are kind of like walking and moving forward and that's something i'm missing here with your horse animation i like that you're doing the up and down of the head and the chest and the hips that is working so it would be just a matter of actually going in and checking your your poses so the reason why this hoof is bending is because it already touches the ground here and it's coming down and then it's coming down and it's coming down completely so it reaches and then it has to touch the ground as the hoof is pointing backward and then it's completely on the ground and pushing backward so yeah those are the main things that i see about your walk cycle but i would invite you to really analyze richard williams walk cycle because it's really clean this horse doesn't have a personality doesn't have like a soul uh, it's not necessarily entertaining to see but at least the mechanics of the movement are working and then your creativity comes on top and you can do other stuff and add a little bit of a gallop or a personality or just like the head moving or something like that and that would add life to your animation but for now you can really analyze this I'm gonna send this video to you and okay so i hope you you're able to see the things that i am seeing here so again the bean the extension of the legs see how they're fully extended i had to crop this video put it three times so you're gonna see the camera going a little insane but it is a cycle so if you want to base yourself off of it that works really well. Now I want you to see how this one and this one are pretty consistent actually. So I always advise against copying someone's animation. I don't think that's smart. But in this case it's more about like learning the body mechanics. And this is not like an animation animation. This is just like a study of the locomotion of the animal. And I think it's smart to follow this. Because... We are analyzing a clip of a real horse and it actually moves that way. So you can be sure by looking at nature. Um, okay, so the hoof here is pointing backward. The hoof here is pointing backward. Yours is kind of pointing forward a little bit. Again, full extension. The horse here has full extension and you have that right now let's just make sure you clean that up and now analyzing the rear legs this leg would have to be further back so see if you divide the leg again into boop, 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 
like that and here. Boop, 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 boop. It is kind of further back if you analyze yours. It's further forward, you see? The space between this and this, the space between this and this. So my knee is here, your knee is here. Then full extension, full extension, not necessarily full extension, and a little closer to the middle of the horse. It should be pushed back just to actually so that we can have like a like a solid line pushing back. When you have the pushing and the leg completely extending, that's going to give you the impression that something's actually moving forward. So that's important. Full extension there. Uh, if you have to make it remain on the ground for longer, you see how this horse oh, still has it on the ground. This one also kind of has it on the ground and yours is like off by some frames already. Yeah, and just analyze when your head needs to be going up and down. And really, it's, it's all about like frame by framing live footage. But what I want you to see, lastly, is that he has a really nice breakdown. I don't know if you've seen this, um, but he does the contact and contact and then explains how you build those contacts, then you build another pose in between those, which is the passing pose. And this is only the rear legs. The passing pose and then and then out of those ones, you can construct the down and the up. So it's contact down, pass up, contact down, pass up. So it's, it's doing that. This pose and this pose is the same one. And so once you construct those, then you can... I know that you have analyzed this because I do see your hips going up and down the way they should be. Just analyze the video further and really check all the reference. If you only have the reference of one horse, I invite you to look at all the reference of other horses just to make sure that that horse is doing the right thing or the normal thing. Um, and then he also has a breakdown of the front legs. And as you can see, it's full extension, then down because it's passing and then passing pose and then up and then contact. Uh, so if you build those four poses, one, two, three, four, and this one's a repeat, if you build those four poses, you really can just have a basic blocking. So it's going up and down, up and down, and then the head is going up and down, up and down. I'm going to give you this video, so because these are only drawings. So you can actually see what's going on. But you can see that this two go in the same at the same speed and the other one's countering. So it's all about bouncing balls in animation. It's always that. So I hope that's useful. Let me know if you have any doubts, any comments. I will share this with you. You can download it. You can look at more reference yourself and I think, again, Richard Williams has some content that is really useful for animators, like beginning animators or even advanced animators sometimes. And those are the notes. Let me know if you have any doubts. And as always, we're here as a team in Agora to really push you guys so you can learn any sort of body mechanics. It can be a human or in this case, a horse. That was so much fun because it's... It's really cool. One can think that one is really good at animating and then one gets like a complete different creature and realizes that it's so different and so peculiar in the way the body mechanics work. And so, yeah, 
it's all about learning more and always trying to go back to actual footage of the animal and then seeing how you can push that and how you can change it to really make it your own but i'm really proud of you for doing this and just let me know if you need anything i am here to help i'm here to serve you and i hope you have a fantastic day bye ska